Like and that's in field or is that in duel? That's in duel. Oh, uh, okay. It's been supposed to be like a top. Oh, yeah, and she's uh, off the ground, and you can counter that move, though, right? Yeah, it, it, do it doesn't pierce a full charge. It's not... It, it takes forever to, to start up. You can grab it before it even hits you. Like, it's, it's not a great move to use, but for, <laughs> but for like, I, think, I think it was like two months, he was all about that move. <laughs> oh, man. So here we go. We're starting off. He's going to get hit with the, with the wave, with the water wave, man. He's going to be surfing for a bit there, going into duel now. Oh, oh my God! That's, that's some good damage for the start of for the start of the match by uh, Super Master. It's like it's, it's like he's having a hissy fit with that water. He's just stomping his feet out. And then you can fake it out. You can just pretend you're gonna go for it. Back away, water gun. Oh, good fake on the on the icy wind. He's playing this super well. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> really go really good mobility right here. He's avoiding all the traps and just shooting him, chipping him. The Sylveon pick is very smart for this matchup. It reduces your damage, increases your shield health. Like it's it's a very solid pick and handler. The only issue is that if they debuff him twice, then it's kind of a a, a useless uh, ah. pick at that point. But it, it if you play it correctly, it'll do it'll benefit you more than it'll hurt you. And I'm sure at this point in the bracket, everyone's trying to play perfectly here. Oh, nice, nice little grab. tornado, baby. That just barely clipped him. Kept him safe. Nice. Hitting him on the wall. Got nine seconds left on the clock. Can he, get, can he pull this out right now? Chipping. Is he going to run the clock? It's going to burst. Oh, oh no. It's just too wide. Clean. The clean Pulled it back right out. Yeah, and you, you definitely saw Twitchy was on the ropes for a second. But he whipped it right back out. Takes that round. Another side Y. That, that, that charge side Y spinning top from Chandelure has been nerfed. Three, three, three times? <laughs> two or three times already. Whoever's complaining, you're doing a good job. I thought, oh my. Oh. oh, no, it froze. So we're having some. Uh, I, I think someone. Technical difficulties here right some, now. The table, I hit, the table got hit again, and it disconnected the, the setup again. So what do you do in a situation like this? Do I, you take the game? Do you reset it? It's, it's not anyone's fault, because they didn't, they didn't touch the, the table. I didn't see them touch the table. And. It's kind of just happened. So it's like, kind of got to restart. So you do you. It, it's, it's, as much as it sucks, you kind of just got to restart that. So like, he's going to have to give back that game. I mean, if, if they go for it, they could. He could just give the round over to Twixie, the first round, and just do a neutral start from there. That would be a lot. But uh, I'm not sure if they're going to do that. We'll have to see what the TOs think of this. This is the second time this has happened so far tonight. Oh, man. That's that's gotta, that sucks. It, it just, it's like you get that win. You got to think it's hard to get so many wins at this time at the bracket. So then to give back one, it's, oh, it hurts. So I'm not sure what they're doing. We're so, not being told um, exactly how they're going to play yeah, it out so yet. So they either replay the entire set from the beginning or they or Master gives them the first round and they go from there. Yeah, he, that's Fumu right now explaining it to the players. He's trying to uh, see what give give them their options. So while we have a moment, you know, um, feel free to you know tweet your thought, tweet your tweet your thought, tweet your thoughts. Um, use the hashtag Denver. I mean D D H D E N seventeen. That's the dream hack Denver. Uh, hashtag and you know let your voice be heard. I'll be reading those tweets when I get some better reception. What's the verdict? Uh, no, um, so since he was up around, we're gonna have them play. And we're finding that out for you guys right now. We're finding out how are they playing this. Fumu's telling us right now. Okay, who's going up? That's the first blizzard we've seen all game. So word from the TL Fumu is that what we're going to do here is that we're going to have them play out this round. If Twixie wins this round, that's game one of Twixie. If Sweet Master wins two rounds from here, then that's game of Sweet Master. Okay, that sounds like a good solution for both players. The, the deal is that we, we create a, a synergy situation. It's a bit too finicky to do. And we don't have like the, the exact moment that they had for the last game. Yeah. So it's better to just do it this way. To avoid too many conflicts. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that makes sense to me. 
I mean, you got you gotta make it work for you know when stuff like unpredictable stuff like this happens, you just gotta do what you have, work with what you have. And here we go. It seems like Twixie was on the ropes, but now he's back, uh, dictating the pace here in duel. Oh, I like that counter. Oh, he just barely got away of that. Oh, the over. He just inched his way closer and closer till he got into overheat range. Yep, and that'll be game one of Twixie. So that so that'll be the game, and now they're going to back out, mm -hmm. and then start up again. Ah, okay, and that is one zero -oh, um, to Twixie. Yes. Oh wait, uh, one thing. Finals are all three out of five, correct? All of the finals are. So this is still best of three. All right. So here we go. This is up. So we've just been, you know, reminded again that this is still best of three. This is not um, uh, best of five set. So he is up one. This is um, to take the set. Only finals would be best of five. So winners finals, losers finals, grand finals would be best of five. So we go some posturing. We'll hit him with the wave. Throw that smog out. Pollute the air, baby. Oh, the blizzard. He, he's trying to smog through Blizzard, but he's doing it. But Sweet Commander's just very tiny with Blizzard to the point where it's kind of hard for Twixie to get a good read on when he should smog. So it's 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 a good play on both ends. Like, it's, it's, Twixie's trying to do the right counterplay, and Sweet Commander is counter, counter counterplay. Oh, I love that counter there. In there with the smog again. Oh, just inching closer and closer. He's going to get knocked right out, and we're back into field. A little zoning here from the from the chandelier. Oh, he's another, going to get hit by another wave. Oh. Really tough. But with the crit up, he can definitely deal some good damage. Sure amount of time. Oh my God! This water gun pressure. That that grab was definitely misinputting. He wanted JY, I'm sure. Oh my God! How do you get through the water gun? A chandelier? I I honestly don't know. <laughs> he's gonna have to figure it out. He he he, he took a game so far, so he, I'm sure he's gonna make an adjustment here. He's probably gonna try not to get hit by the wave here in field as well. Going Beyblades on him. Oh, he's gonna hit that. Nice crit. Well, but he had the support on, so no, not too much damage. So fun fact about uh, defense boost is that uh, if you have if you get crit. The defense boost, you take even less damage. Wow, that that, that is interesting. It, 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 it's quite silly. I'm not too sure why they would <laughs> like that, but uh, they did. And it's, it's so crazy. <laughs> and here we go. We got Twifty winning that that phase. Gonna get a free punish off of that. I'm short hopping that and hitting them with a big old laser beam. On oh, another one. Oh, they just exchanging the laser beams. That's not gonna kill, but it puts them even closer to death. 38 feet left. What's he gonna do? Oh, is that a grab punish? Oh no, he's gonna go with the uh, Beyblades. Let's go, let it rip. Spin it, baby. Took my slow, just trying to get close enough to to get the, the point wide a hit just like that. I think every field phase that Sweet Master Lunch Bar has been off of Ford Y. Getting right in there, countering those moves, slowly but surely getting in there and hitting them with the top spin. Uh, I'm surprised at how often Sweet Commander is getting past the uh, the flame burst with with jump back. Like usually, you jump get caught get caught by that, but I'm I think Sweet Commander just has a hit, hit box or hurt box. I mean, that just barely circumvents that, gets past that, which was just nice for for Sweet Commander's matchup. Oh, here comes the again. Oh my god, that hurts so much. And then that's one. it. Plus, yeah, plus the debuffs uh, he had on him, and that did so much damage, so much damage, and he's done. And now here we go. Like, I mean, we expected this. We expected this to go back and forth for two really good players. Twixie really trying to smog through the, the blizzards. I think. He, I don't think he can t ca it because Ch Chandy ca is so slow to start up that Suicune could probably just block or jump back out before he even comes out. His his only option really is too small to get a punish. And he's just this the timing that Sweet Commander is going for is just too hard to get a to get a pin on. 
we go. Keeping them well spaced out there, keeping it safe, keeping that lead. Oh, but the wave! He's barely clipped them. That wave is so good. It's been proven to be good over and over again. Is this going to be a big combo? No, he's going to go for a uh, reset. Oh, it's going to get crush countered. Uh, how's well, the math on that? What's jumping. One, one debuff plus one buff equals... Oh, well, never mind. You don't have to do it anymore. Small? Um, I'm looking for a small gear. It's not, probably not going to happen. That's just jumping, though. And it looks like Chandelier Shield is weak. Oh, he had to drop it. He was going to break it. I, I think he tried to go for a CA there or maybe try to back up and get out of the range of the second 6Y. Why? But, um... He didn't think he was that close, and he got clipped by it. And so what, how are they going to play it here? He's going to try to get a... Oh, he's going to get hit with the Aura Beam. Mm. It seems like Tootsie has a harder time getting through the water gun pressure. Oh, my God. He can react to it and hit him with his own beam. A uh, Hydro Pump is a, it's a very reactive move. It takes a, lot, a long time for it to actually come out. Okay, so we got four seconds on the clock. I'm He's going to run the clock. Yeah, that's, that's smart. He, he, he got meter for, for burst from the Hydro Pump, the Sweet Master earlier, and then decided, you know what? This round's already in the back for me. You can't really do enough damage to, to win. I'm just going to back up, and I'm not going to touch you. Like, this, this is my round. And it makes sense that Hydro Pump, I, you know, I'm not a big Pokemon uh, when it comes after the third and fourth gens or whatever, but I know first gen, Hydro Pump took a few turns to come out, man. You had to charge up, and you, by the time you charge up Hydro Pump, you're already going to get hit by something big. So it's nice to see that element in Pokemon. Going back to field phase, icy wind setup. What's what's the mix about the words? That's you can't see it, man. The, the, the staggering on side Y, no, that's, that's five Y. The staggering on five Y from Shandy and side Y, it's really hard to actually deal with and see through without getting caught at some point. Oh, and there you go, that move you were talking about. That's not the move we were talking about. Oh, that's not the move you're talking about. Uh -huh. oh, okay. Oh, I don't know. It's it's close, but it's not <laughs> the one I was talking about. No punish and punish for Sweetie Master trying to go for the Aurora Beam. Yeah, it's either going to be a shield break or... Oh, it's going to hit him right out of that too. He, he, the way that hit was so weird that I don't blame Sweetie Master to drop a shield at that, at that point. It, 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 it grazes shield twice. So. <laughs> and this is for Twixtree to move on on winner's side. Can he pull this out? Oh, here we go. Was, was that a grab attempt? Did I, oh, he had a support no, he had, up. He, he, had, he had a team. Oh, uh, yes. 10 seconds left. This is for Twixie to get out of here. He, there you go. Get damage in. Activating burst. Oh, nice. Oh, my God. It's going to go down confirm. to the wire. Here we go. Anyone can take this game. This is to move on next. And then I'm so with the laser beam. Twixie's still sitting on an entire full bar of burst. So he, he already has a pretty good advantage for this matchup already. So... Sweet Master has to like work really hard to get burst if he, if he wants to win very handily. He can, he can still win it without it, but it, it, to, to counter Chandler's burst of your own is very, very useful. Blocking that wave, not going to get shifted that, that time. And I noticed that the smog did not activate there. Oh, that pressure right here on that shield. I'm trying to get pinned down. Oh, I love that. It tries to anticipate that projectile. What the crap? Good grab on the smog. It's getting ever closer to having full burst. Okay, here we go with the air reset off of the burst. Another blizzard. Uh, free and caught by 6x. Oh, this is a confirm. Oh my god, we're going to see a burst attack. So he's going to get he's gonna double debuff to lose all his recoverable health and get, and get knocked down. So this is not a good situation for a Supermaster, honestly. But... He's something he can definitely come back from. It's not unwinnable. He still has a lot of health to work with. And there's plenty of time on the clock. 20 seconds. Don't be sure broken. Gonna get the almost, jump in. Almost punished. Oh, he's gonna get the counter. Okay, this is where he's gonna have to make his move. Overheat. Oh! Overheat. Just Yo, taking it down. The overheat. Such a good play there. That was a good overheat. He hasn't done overheat the entire set, and he pulls it out at that exact moment. And you kind of, he felt the aggression too. He felt the need that, that he had to, you know, he had to attack in order to win the round. In order to, to, you know, the time was running out. He had his back against.